All right, all right. What's up, everybody? It's your buddy CJ here from Hot Seat Automotive Podcast. Where am I at today? Greetings from Shelby, North Carolina. We at the Shady Side Dragway. Today they got the Steel in Motion 2024 automotive event. What are we talking about here? Uh, it's an annual event put on by the Gear Goyles Car Club out of Inland, South Carolina. Shout out to Gear Goyles. Uh, let me tell you something. They got a lot of gassers. They got a lot of classics. They got a lot of legit hot rods. These guys actually drive their cars, number one. Number two, you know, you could just you could just sense the passion and the love for these vehicles. It's a drag strip. They got an eighth mile. You see it? It's right behind me. That's the end of the drag strip there. They got an eighth mile shrimp. Uh, they got an eighth mile strip, not a shrimp. I'm thinking about food. You know your buddy CJ's always thinking about food. Come on! But listen, they got an eighth mile strip. These guys are fixing to run. They're going to run these cars. So what are we going to do? It's a beautiful day. Saturday morning, August, Shelby, North Carolina, Shady Side Dragway. Let's walk around. Let's look at some cars. Let's talk to some of these hot routers. Let's find out what the gear goils are all about. And uh, we're just going to have a great time doing it. Come on! Let's go! Okay, it's a little more quiet and open over here. I got room to actually film. Let's take a look at this. I am not an expert on gassers by any stretch, but I do know that it's, as I mentioned earlier, like 1972 and earlier. I think if you're a purist, you might say 67 and earlier. Uh, the straight axle, you often see them kind of raked. They carry limited fuel, they're light. The car's been lightened. Um, again, I don't know a heck of a lot about gas or culture. You know, this was before my time, so to speak. Um, but I do know that it's a thing. And the cool thing about these gasser guys, these are not just show cars. These guys will actually run. This classic Corvette is truly a gasser. Look at this. You've got the fuel shut off, I believe, right here. Could be an ignition cutout or maybe fuel. You got a wheelie bar. Got a full roll cage, I believe. And they're gonna put this car on the eighth mile drag strip today. Silver Streak, K and J Pools, it says. 327. Chevy Power. Alright guys, let's keep going. Here at Steel in Motion 2024. We're gonna look at some of these cars here at the car show area. Let's just walk around together. Pretty cool. Got that sunburst orange. Orange crush, that's what I call that color. That's just me. This old, old stuff. I'm not really into the antique era of cars. What about you guys? This is an old Ford. Can't see the year from here. But I don't know, these cars don't really talk to me per se. But listen, it's incredible to see it out here. Where are my Tri-5 guys at? Come on. Look at the old Chevy with all that patina. They call it patina. Now that's a thing, right? Look at the flames. There's something about flames on classic cars. What do you guys think? I love it really really just pops says he's with the pacemakers car club she's a beauty she is a beauty oh look at the flathead he getting it ready she looks good she is pretty now some of you young boys have never seen a flathead engine before check that out no overhead valves there come on Old school what do you think, guys? Is this a rat rod? Can we call that a rat rod? 1950? No, 19, 1950 or 1934 in Savannah. I couldn't make it out. <laughs> but she's cool. She's cool. Look at that. Look at sleek and red. Those lines, those flowing lines of the 1950s era into the 1960s. Look at this sled. Big old Cadillac. Looks like she's on air. She slammed. And you got that big long hood on the old Cadillac. They don't make them like that anymore. Is this a little Ford Falcon? 
Let's see if your buddy CJ got it right. I'm gonna look. <clears throat> yes, it is. Ford Falcon. Let's look inside. Look at that, look at the speedometer. Goes up to 100. What do you think? Do 100 in this? Wait a minute. She got a straight six. 170 cubic inch displacement. Ford, straight six. Really cool. That's something to see. Now look here. We got the mini bike. I told you they got a mini bike contest here. Now, what do you think? Could your buddy CJ ride this bike? Leave your comments. <laughs> How many of you guys would pay to see me try to ride that mini bike? You better get your cameras ready, boys. I might be going down. I might be going down for the count. Y'all wouldn't want that, would you? Don't answer that. Man, look at this. You guys that know me know I want a Chevelle. This is a car that I am just itching to own. And look at that color. How many green Chevelles like that do you see? I like what he did with the rubber and the wheels. Oh, cool car. What do you think? 69 Chevelle. All oh, looks original and period correct for the most part. The interior. Look what we got coming in here. How cool is that little guy? And we got another one here. Let's take a closer look. Got three carbs there. Old school, huh? Old school meets the new school, maybe. That's a very striking car, is it not? The Tri-5 and the bright yellow Bel Air with the classic Kragers. Who else? Right-hand drive. Wow, my buddy just told me. I didn't even notice that. Right-hand drive. That's crazy. That is crazy. You never know what you're going to see at the show. We're going to see them all. Come on, let's take a look. It's a 55 Bel Air. My buddy tells me it's a right-hand drive and he won line. Is that something? When was the last time you saw a Tri-5 in right-hand drive? I've never driven a right-hand drive vehicle. Have you? Maybe the bumper cars. <laughs> but that's about it. Malibu is cool. A lot of Chevy power here, a lot of classic Chevys. Those rally wheels, those rally wheels just look right. Rally wheel is the way to go with these old Chevys, come on. I think. See, I had to come out here and get this footage now because once they start running the drag strip, it's gonna get loud. It's gonna get loud in Shelby, North Carolina. here what do we got SS 93 knucklehead known as spare parts beautiful bike come on classic Harley 1947 1950 they call it half breed she got both 47 and 50 what you think two, two incredible Harley Davidson's on display here at the show. We love to see it. Come on, I gotta get you some of that V8 noise. We got a gasser coming in, boys. Come on, he get ready for the strip. Look at this, shall we? Why not? It's a beautiful day. 
1929 Ford Coupe. Are you kidding me? Look at that. And a Triumph in tow. He got his bike in tow. He got the classic Triumph. Okay. With the kicker on the side. Oh, look at here. We got another old one coming in. They're getting them parked. The show goes all day. The show's going all day. You know, sometimes at the show, in spectator parking, you come across cool stuff. You know your buddy CJ going to bring it to you. Check this out. This guy's selling this car. 1934 Chevy. 15 grand. Clear title. There's the phone number. So, 15 grand, plus or minus, you know, you make them an offer, whatever. But, uh, and you can get into this hobby with something very unique. You could build something on your own, or this fellow, looks like a lot of effort went into this build, and he's selling it. She's out of North Carolina, the great state of North Carolina. We got them all down here says old school rod shop but that one's for sale guys here in spectator parking and I thought I'd show it to you okay another one for sale by owner it says pure hell she got everything but the motor you could put your engine your powertrain in it and they're selling this one guys and I'll give the owner a shout out here we'll get a shot zoom in on that I'll reach over if you're interested in buying it it says 5500 or best offer but if you want to get serious about drag racing you might want to snag this but you got to put an engine in it all right guys we're going to take a look at this lineup here at Shady Side for Steel in Motion 2024 you'll see there's some vintage campers vintage caravans in the back the shot that's a part of the show that's actually a class with the trophies look at that look at the detail look at the louvers in the hood look at the paint the metal flake oh gosh it's just absolutely stunning a lot of love went into this car a lot of passion in these old cars the old iron as they say sled look at the sled Come on, 1951 Merc. I want to get run over here, people. I am trying to get a good shot for you, I promise. You guys like the Mercs? I like the Mercs. Another hot rod here. Like three carbs. Okay. That's the way they used to go. And they all here at Steel in Motion 2024. I don't know how many of these guys are actually going to run the strip today versus just here for the show. You guys like the GOATs, the GTOs? I do. Is this a 400? Pontiac 400 in the GTO. Look at that nose. You can always spot the GTOs with that nose. Very unique. Really stands apart from the Chevelles and the Malibus, in my view, and the Novas. They're just really cool cars now speaking of really cool cars maybe a little bit of controversy is this a is this a pinto or a maverick that's a maverick isn't it any car with a wheelie bar you know it's serious when you see the wheelie bar you know that's a serious car and he got the full roll cage. Getting ready to run the strip here at Shady Side. All right, guys, check out these trophies. Are these not unique trophies? I love it. Neck breaker. Steel in motion, 2024. They got cool trophies. This is the trophy I want. Ultimate attitude. Come on. Through the pistons. Are these not the best trophies ever? Okay, I'm usually a guy who doesn't care about trophies at car shows, but 
They got trophies like this. I want to win one. What do you guys think? Really cool. Flag girl. Them cool cars and hot rods coming in. Steel in motion. 2024. I don't know. I think this is really cool. Custom trophies. Look at that with the timing chain. Everything. Rockers. Mini bike. Mad mini bike. 2024. Look at that. Number one pinup. They're going to have pinup girls. Are you kidding me? This is a cool event. This is a cool event. All right, all right. You never know who you're going to run into at the auto show. This is my buddy, Josh Detroit Leatherwood. Say hi, Josh. What's up, everybody? Listen, Josh, number one, guys. Josh is my bodyguard. You see how tall this man is? <laughs> Don't mess with your buddy, CJ. But in all seriousness, I love Josh. He's a good friend of mine. Not only is he a car guy, and, he's, and, 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 and he knows his cars, legit, and he works in the industry, He's also a huge Metallica fan, Creeping Carolinas. He runs that group. If you were metalhead, check out Creeping Carolinas. The other thing I want to tell you about is Barkitecture Charlotte. Now, I want to stop talking. Josh, tell us what Barkitecture Charlotte is. Tell us about your event. Go ahead, buddy. Yeah, so Barkitecture CLT is a nonprofit we started a few years ago. We're basically a custom pet design house build and competition. So we pair teams with sponsors that build a pet house. We auction off pets, uh, the houses, uh, for the benefit of usually three local rescues in the Charlotte area. We do other events as well, so we're doing a car show uh, September 14th at Dunwell's in Mint Hill. Uh, it's a Saturday. Come on out, 11 to 3. Should be a lot of fun. Our first car show, but hopefully it'll be good. Josh, do you have to pre-register for that? Is there a registration fee? Go ahead. Yeah, no, it's there's no pre-registration. It's a $20 fee day of for cars and uh, spectators, of course, are free. We'll have door prizes and trophies and all that. So. I'm excited and I will be there. I'll be hanging out with Josh. I am gonna be one of the judges. I am accepting payoffs. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Josh, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't wanna get him mad. No, Josh is the nicest guy I know. But in all seriousness, Architecture CLT, uh, come on out September 13th. September 14th. Listen, here I am causing confusion as usual. <laughs> September 14th, don't listen to me. Listen to Josh. But guys, we having fun out here. We at Shady Side Dragway, uh, Steel in Motion 2024. Come check out your buddy Josh, September 14th at Barkitecture uh, CLT. And uh, come on, Josh, let's go look at some more cars. Yeah, Thank you. Fun. See you. All right, guys, another gasser for you. Off probation, 427 cubic inch, 89 speed shop. Really something else. Gasser Nation. These guys are serious about the hobby. A lot of them have their full trailer setups. You know, he got a fan there keeping it cool. Okay, these guys are serious. It's a different aspect of the hobby. These guys don't, you know, these guys ain't gonna go sit at the car show. They're gonna actually run their cars. Okay. He giving her a charge. He's got the wheelie bar. She gonna be running off probation let's keep looking what else we got here I see a blower on top of that engine I see a blower roots blower also known as a supercharger is this a throwback or what is that taking you back to another time, another place in our hobby? But here it is, 2024, at Steel in Motion. And you could see these cars out here in Shelby, North Carolina. It's incredible. It's incredible to see something like this. The new stuff is great. We love the new stuff. I do. But this stuff with the classic element, but also the technical, <clears throat> excuse me, the technical element as an auto mechanic, as a gearhead, to maintain something like this and to build it and to optimize it. So much goes into it, right? Definitely beyond my skill set. But your buddy CJ has other skills. Now, we don't know what those skills are yet. <laughs> Come on. He's got a parachute. 
He's got the shoot. Hell yeah, brother. It says hell yeah, brother on the back of it. Pretty cool, huh? More cars, more gassers. It's the Tin Man here at the show. What do you think? It's got the Victor Ram. Look at the exhaust. Look at the headers. Look at the induction system. Full roll cage. It's a very serious car, what do you think? Here's another gasser, look at it. Fuel infection, it says. Pretty cool. He's getting ready to run. Getting ready to run the strip. This is a sharp looking car. Hughes Brothers Garage out of Poplar, North Carolina. It says Lady Luck on the car. Will he be lucky on the drag strip? We don't know yet. But they're going to run these gassers through the tires, through the wheels. There's another one for you, boys. Speedy's Cab Company out of Barksville. North Carolina. We got them all. We got all the gassers out of the Carolinas. And these guys are getting ready to run. Gotta love the old gassers. They just look like they're ready. They look like Hot Wheels. Here's a cool one. He's getting it ready. He's under the hood. Making sure everything's right. Says, who me? He ready for the drag strip. All right, we got Handsome Tire Company. What's it say? Better all the way around. Come on. How classic is that? There's my man there. All right, all right. Handsome Tire Company here at Shady Side Dragway for Steel in Motion. Speaking of Steel in Motion, we got some Steel in Motion. They coming in? Them boys are coming in. Look at this one. Listen to that. Guys, you gotta be kidding me. Classic American cars on display, getting ready to run the drag strip. Look at the gasser. Look at the gasser wagon over here backing in. What are you kidding me? Classic Pontiac. Got the raccoon tail hanging from the rear view mirror. How do you boys like these old trucks? Brown's plumbing, it says. Looks like she's lowered on air. What you think? Cool paint job, huh? This is my boy right here. This is one of my boys right here. Is that Wyatt? Y'all know Wyatt, right? You better get some. That's my buddy right here. And I know for a fact last night he beat dad on the drag strip. But we ain't gonna say nothing. Oh, yes, we will. Beat that long bit turd. Nice. We love it. We got friends out here. We got all the cars out here and the trucks. Come on. Let's keep going. Okay, guys. I had to come check this out. The Greyhound Cena Cruiser. It is for sale. The Double Decker Greyhound 1955 GMC. Okay? This guy wants 45 thousand dollars for it you can see he's got the sign here i'll get let, let you see his phone number if you want to call and buy this thing then he's got the history of the 55 cena cruiser it says it's a gm 4501 okay this is a throwback to another era the 1950s when do you see a bus like this on the road and here we are in shelby north carolina we got one for sale. Hey, look, there's your buddy, CJ. Hello. Let's say peace. What's up? Pretty cool. Also got a, an old Honda here. Now, your buddy CJ had one of these similar. This is a bit older than the one I had when I was down in Daytona Beach going to college. Uh, my first bike was actually, I think, a 400 Honda. I believe it was a 400. Don't quote me. Maybe a 450. Anyway. Greyhound Cena Cruiser, 1955 General Motors, GMC. 
The gassers just keep coming here at Shady Side. Steel in motion, 2024. Juiced up. They apparently are juiced up. Oh, classic car coming up behind me. They put the run your buddy CJ down. Come on, we can't have that, can we? Here's juiced up. Got the matching trailer. Looks like a lot went into this car. Looks like a heck of a bill, doesn't it? Yum yum, eat them up, it says. 540-ish, he says. Literally, it says 540-ish. Juiced up. It's getting noisy over here. Chevy, he got the wheelie bar. Run out, cuz. This boy's getting wild out here. Attention getter. I'll say it's an attention getter. Look at the induction. Reminds me kind of Evil Knievel. Evil Knievel vibes? Am I right or am I wrong? You guys tell me. Gas or culture, it's a whole thing in our hobby. 1960, it says. Who remembers 1960? I don't. I wasn't even alive yet. I'm not that old, people. Come on. Let's keep going. Let's take a look at Sucker Punch here. Sucker Punch, it says. Greenville, South Carolina. Beautiful car. Look at the detail. Look at the love that went into this car. You can tell. She's going to be running the strip today. so unique got the wheelie bar okay we'll take a look at the engine bay I know you guys want to check that out what do you think a roots blower is that what we're looking at yes, yes she says are you kidding me are you the driver no my husband drives how long have you had the car may I ask Your husband build it? We built some of it. Um, Greg Porter, though, at Highway 123 Speed Shop, we did the paint. Love it. Are you going to be running today on oh, the yes. strip? Awesome. Well, good luck. Be safe. Love the car. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we got to spot this one. Deuce is wild. Blair Speed Shop. Yes. All right, all right. She's beautiful. He getting ready to run. She's a 383. All right. The gasser is going to be coming alive in just a little while here at Shady Side. All right, guys. They got all the gassers staged and lined up for racing. Let's take a look at this lineup together, shall we? Here we are at Shady Lane Dragway. There's the drag strip up there. Here's the gassers lining up, getting ready. They're gonna get them all dialed in. Probably some practice runs, some grudge runs, and then they're gonna go live with the competition. But this is just an incredible lineup see in 2024 in my opinion pretty cool right
itself is quieter now. The gassers will be running. I should have done it myself. I, I thought about that. Always politics to figure out who goes first, who's in what lane. I'm sure these guys will figure it out, but I know when I've done these events in the past, been involved with them, I'm not a big drag racer, but you know, you always got to figure that stuff out. And it can get contentious. Gassers are guys that take their hobby seriously. And why not? They invest a lot. They take a lot of pride in their cars, obviously. And there is a competitive element to it. Unique hot rod here. Wanted to show this to you guys. This, to me, looks like a Hot Wheels that many of us may have played with back in the day. And this guy has got a heck of a build here. So unique. Purple metal flake paint. And look at this, he's a bootlegger. He's a wine peddler. Is there moonshine back there or wine? I don't know. Really cool. And look at this. Power shift hydros. We've seen this car at Pageland. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's cool, she's cool. She gonna be running today. Let's see who's gonna be running the eighth mile here at Shady Side. You guys like the old stuff? I do too. I like it all. Listen, coming to a show like this, a bit of Americana, you're seeing all these hot rods, um, classics, gassers. It's one aspect of our hobby. And you know me, I enjoy the diversity. A little bit of everything. It gets boring. Just focusing on one class of car or genre of car or brand. Variety is the spice of life, people. And that applies to the automotive enthusiast hobby, in my opinion. But enough out of me, let's keep looking at cars. Now look at that. The drag truck. Full roll cage. This is a very serious truck, people. Take a look inside. You gotta have brass balls to, do, to drive this truck. <laughs> a little bit of humor. Come on, your buddy CJ keeping you on your feet. Flying Falcon. That thing's sharp. But then over here, we got the Gold Rush. Look at the Gold Rush. She big. She long. 421 cubic inch. He out of Piedmont, South Carolina. Barnes Classic Restorations. Foothills Motorsports. This is a beautiful car. I like the tint. Am I the only one who likes the tint? See, I notice these things. Some of these boys don't notice these things. I look at everything. GTO, gasser. Straight axle, okay? What makes a gasser a gasser? Do you know? Leave me those comments. Got the straight axle. Was it 1967 or earlier, or maybe 72? I think here at Steel in Motion, they gotta be 72 or earlier. These guys are serious about their cars, and I just love it. Look at this here. You know, I don't know if I want to call that a rat rod because she's too pretty, too clean. He's out of Bootleggers Car Club. Look at that. Really cool. How about that for exhaust, boys? Is that unbelievable or what? Pretty car here, huh? What do we got here, a Nomad? Keep me honest, guys. Bel Air wagon, maybe? Very nice. This is the car show area of Steel in Motion. They do have a car show in addition to the drag strip here at Shadyside Dragway. 
Look at this. Plymouth. Got the old iron. Look at this guy. I don't know. What are we looking at here, guys? Come on, let's check this out together. 1950 Ford. Okay. More cars, the car show. You're looking at all classics here, and you know your buddy CJ loves the diversity in the automotive hobby. This is what it's all about, right? This is Americana number one, Shelby, North Carolina. All right, this is a segment of the automotive hobby, Gear Goyles Car Club, and all associated clubs and gearheads who've showed up for this event. You got a little bit of everything. Now, interestingly enough, they've got a car show. I mentioned they got the drag racing. They've also got a bunch of really cool custom trophies. I took some footage of it earlier. They're gonna have a mini bike contest, which I think is kinda cool. Additionally, they're gonna have pinup girls. Some of you boys into the pinup girl scene. They're gonna have a pinup girl contest later. They're gonna have bands. It's just a great show here at Shady Side Dragway, Shelby, North Carolina. Steel in motion, 2024. Come on, let's keep going. All right, guys. We're gonna have gassers competition. We're gonna be drag racing these gassers. Look at this one. How unique. Look at the elaborate paint. Is that incredible or what? Peek right through here to the engine. A lot of love and creativity went into this car. And I gotta give them credit because it is so unique. And it is a gasser. Okay? Those of you in the automotive hobby know about gassers. And this car will be running on the eighth mile today, shortly, here at Shady Side Dragway. Another gasser here at Shady Side. Look at that. From another era, people from another era. How cool is that? Looking forward to seeing this car on the strip later. Look at this here. Now I'm at the swap meet at Steel in Motion. Look at this old Honda Passport. Someone needs to buy this and rescue it and rebuild it. Honda Passport 70 Deluxe. Got the shroud for the handlebars there, or maybe another set of handlebars. The original, but no seat. But it largely looks like it's there. And uh, if you were mechanically inclined, you could probably figure all this out and get this thing running again. So here at Steel in Motion Swap Meet, more swap meet stuff. Pontiac Firebird formula got some trim there is that from the rear hatch I think so the hoods for the old trucks I think they're for trucks we got a tank got some old headers some rusty gold right there come on look here Camaro boys look like a trunk for a Camaro Never know what you're gonna find at the swap meet. Steel in motion 2024. Come on. All right, here we are again at the Steel in Motion Swap Meet 2024. Swap meet area. You never know what you're gonna find at these swap meets. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. It's kind of fun to look at this stuff. Got some tail lights here. What you need? Some hubcaps. All kinds of accessories, center caps, hub caps, steering wheels. They got it all. Always fun looking around. Look at the old gauges. Never know what you're gonna find at the swap meet at a show like Steel in Motion. I enjoy looking at this stuff. What about you? All right, guys. Buddy CJ is going to be signing off. That was a bit of a walk around here at Shady Side Dragway for the annual Steel in Motion Car Show Drag Racing. 
They got bands at this event. Okay, right here in Shelby, North Carolina. They've got pinup girl contests later. A lot of fun. I didn't even see, I'd say, a quarter of the cars because I got here super early. I have a second event today that I'm actually co-running. So I need to get out of here and <laughs> put some miles on. But I had a great time For the, in the morning hours here. Listen, cars were still rolling in. Folks were getting their cars ready. But the drag racing, the test and tune just started. They're running some gassers. I'll include some footage. Uh, I included some footage of the gassers running the eighth mile. Listen, just a great event. This is all Americana. These are real automotive enthusiasts, guys who like to test, tune, build, drive, race their cars, including the old gasser behind me, which is kind of cool, off probation, okay? These guys are, are serious auto enthusiasts. They're a lot of fun. Uh, they're competitive. They put these cars out there on the strip. They run them. <clears throat> you know, we're talking about cars from the 50s, 60s, 70s. Really cool. Uh, so I had a great time here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the footage. Give me a like and subscribe. Your buddy CJ, you know I love each and every one of you. Be safe out there until I see you on the next one. Peace!